Are you in every way, woman? Welcome back to Every Way Woman. We are talking breast length, and we were just discussing the team, Dr. Link, that you've chosen. And I just really want to wrap this up quickly. And if you could tell me what makes these doctors so special, why did you choose them? Well, they have a passion for taking care of women with a serious disease, and they don't shy away from it. And they communicate well, and egos are not involved here. The, the goal is really to take care of the woman. So it's a collaborative kind of team approach, and it, for us, it really works. So you're already taking such incredible care of these women. What's next for Breastlink? Well, we'll keep doing it, and th this model works. It really works. So we hope. Do other you think you'll expand? We will. Uh, we don't want to do that too fast because we're really, really connected to quality. But people can take our model and do it also. We have no problem with that. Um, the really great thing is that we're evolving also. Our research, we, uh, and, and it's interesting, part of the research we do has to do with new technologies, new genomic tests. Part of it has to do pulling back and not over-treating women. We actually, we give about 40% less chemotherapy than we did six years ago because of this new research that we've been doing. Well, there's obviously been an evolution in the technology, and I would assume, Dr. Paris, that you've seen that throughout the growth of your career. Tell me about what you think is next and how you're contributing. Uh, uh, definitely. Um, I mean, right now, tomosynthesis is out there, which is uh, 3D imaging of the breast. Mammography is 2D imaging. So now we actually Is it to necessary to have a 3D? I think it works well for women with dense breasts. So okay. um, if you have a facility where you actually have tomosynthesis, it's been shown that you get to decrease your recoil weight by 30%. And that makes a difference because then you end up doing... Uh, you don't end up doing unnecessary biopsies in women. Or because unnecessary treatments, as Dr. Eggs, Link was saying. Exactly, and that's the over-treatment you're trying to decrease. So imaging is actually playing a great role in that. And Dr. Kirsa, what have you seen? Well, How are you it's, it, just in the last 10 years, it's been dramatic. I mean, we do less surgery. Um, we offer breast conservation to more patients. We're doing less radiation. And particularly, we're doing less surgery of the lymph nodes, which causes a lot of long-term morbidity for our patients. And so that really... What do you really, mean by that? Well, a lot of women end up with lymphedema, swelling in their arms that makes them susceptible to infections. And that's a lifelong disease that they have. It doesn't get better. Um, it can get better and get worse, but it never goes away completely. And we're doing that a lot less nowadays because we know when we need to take uh, additional lymph nodes, but for the majority of times, we're just stopping at just one or two. So all the money that's being raised for breast cancer research, do you feel that it's really providing solutions or is it just making the packaging more pretty? No, I mean, it's, it's providing solutions, and the, the way we do research is really different than it was 10 years ago. Uh, to take a new drug and discover it and then bring it to the patient was a 10-year process. Well, and now there's actually a pill that women are using as preventative, am I correct? Right. There, there are a couple of pills we use for women at high risk that have a certain type of breast cancer that we that we can use. But just to finish what I was saying, now we can take a new medication and bring it to the woman in three to four years, uh, about a third of the time it used to take. Uh, and it has to do with the way we do clinical trials now. And in the reconstruction in particular, there's been a lot of evolution. Well, just as, just as the breast surgeon's techniques have gotten better and have improved over time, so as so all our reconstructive techniques, we have adjusted to give patients better results um, after mastectomies and after breast conservation so that they can get very natural results now. And, they can be, and you can actually measure it against cosmetic results, too. Um, and patients are a lot more happy with that, too. But it's not a one-time reconstructive surgery. It's a progress. No, it, there's expansion there, to there, deal there with. There are different types of reconstructions, and those have gone through an evolution over the years as well. There are newer techniques. We're doing a lot of nipple sparing reconstructions. What do you we mean have, nipple we, sparing? Nipple sparing is when the patient is saving all of their tissue, including the nipple and, and, and the areola, which used to be removed with every single breast cancer surgery. Women would lose their nipples? Yes. But now there are options, and there are options of not only using 
the patient's own tissue to refill the void after the breast tissue is removed, but also the technology of the implants has improved and there are certain newer technology with dermal grafts and artificial grafts to create a nice, pleasing breast shape, which weren't available before. Do you think that's helped the psyche of the women who are dealing with breast cancer? Absolutely. There have been studies done nationally uh, with uh, breast cancer patients measuring patient satisfaction and quality of life have all shown improvements and, you know, they're, you know, you know, very high, very high quality of life, very high satisfaction after reconstruction. Dr. Lee, how do you make sure that your team is providing that to the patients? Um, that's a good question. I, I think it has to do with the feedback we get from our patients and from our colleagues. Um, you know, we're, we're in a, an area of medicine that we can really see our results. We see women survive. We keep those numbers. Uh, we get to follow the women that we treat because they're with us for the whole journey, and many of the, most of them will go on and live the rest of their lives, hopefully uh, with this kind of disease in the distant past. Are you in every way, woman?